Lily's girl in Monaco, and Ophelia floats down her riverbed. Am I one of the lonely ones who never rests her head? Another life, cool marmalade in the summertime, where am I? My homeland is not where I reside, but lonely ones, open children. Oh, Lily's, how I wish to bloom like you. A heap that dry rocks and be seen. I don't have to leave my sanctuary where she holds me in her angels' room. Safety. Is she foreign to me? She's like the mother I always wanted. She is the warm breeze when the air is hot and dense. These lilies are gilded with gold and hides their true color, pale and serene. The way the world likes to give us glory. God, where is your love? The heartbeat of humanity is weeping, can you not hear its cry? I once was a child in the middle of the night. I once was a lover, sincere under moonlight. Can there not be hope for the hopeless? Do they damn themselves with grief, or are they human like me? Reflecting on my days through a kaleidoscope lens, it's the only way I introspect, it's the only way I stay awake. Remote, through romanticization and longing for my soul, a beautiful divine, reaching out for treasure that's mine and mine alone. Broken memories bring together the pieces into stained glass portraits. People always think I'm high on pills, but I'm just an artist with no recollection of what's real anymore. All that is real is my fragments of romance is collected in my looking glass. All the rest is faded time. I live in Kairos, except it is the moments of bliss to momentary bliss when I am alone in Gnosis that I am sovereign, that I am free. This girl just needs her baby back. A melancholy girl laying naked on a dirty mattress as the snow stormed down. She needs all of her lost things back that she left in treasure chests. I just wish the things that had been taken from me didn't have to go. Didn't have to watch me leave with their eyes filled with tears welling up like hot springs. Because if I had it my way, my selfish way, I would have had our future forever forever together in castles on clouds and my cries wouldn't be so loud no they wouldn't make a sound not if i were in one piece i'm not better than my humanity i scar i scab and i bleed and all the beatings of my heart couldn't make a sweeter sound other than the silent tempo of the quiet dawn i used to feel like the sunrise was ours and now i know for certain it always will be oh red lights on palm beach avenue it isn't Austria, but those lights are sure dazzling my eyes. You were next to me, somehow, like some kind of dream. I was only 17, but your eyes were a beautiful shade of golden green, red lights on Palm Beach Street, yes. You were an ancient rhythmic melody, and I a drifter from the deepest spacecraft canyon. Oh, we drove, we drove, we drove, we drove, you and I, to the IHOP, we laughed. It was the first time in a long time. Then she kissed me for the first time. At 16. It was before the world went up in flames around me. But I just hope everything is all right. I hope everything is as rose tinted for you as it used to be for me. Greenery of Valentino's Castle. Armor and Bastille, blossoming violently with violets of scarlet and blue. Mary in the morning, laughing by the afternoon. Joanna, you seem so very cold with your eyes of silver dew and lips as purple as nightshade. Could I sit by your side if the clock strikes midnight? Mayflowers and whiskey on the bar back. You never know the thrill of it until the wind brushes her skin with all the seduction of a woman on fire. Perhaps you see me as a mockingbird. I can't 
would be caught, captured, or burned. I will rise with the dawn always. Who knew young women had this in them? But despite what they say, I am much more of a robin when I am alone. Despite how they try to kill the mockingbird with their vile words, I am a robin, crying red robin tears, with my songs through the years, and to the blood in my veins and the earth and the streams, I am a robin girl, a little red bird, and I will sing my robin tune to all who will listen with open ears. I will be their robin girl. I will hold. Ambrosia. Who knew that love could be so freely given? It is not earned or written in stone. It is the rain. It showers when it desires. And to love someone is to stand beside them, hand in hand. When the world is up in such hot, wicked flame, we will be okay. Because how can you live a full life if you've never loved? How can one hold on to his grip on life if he will never love? And I could crumble right here. I could die in the arms of the dark angel and he would weep for me, yes. But I am strong. Stronger than any blazing tower. Stronger, stronger than any ungodly hour I will rise. Like the street singer pours her heart out, so will I. I will belt out my heart to the heavens, give all my love to the sky. To all the world I say, I want to live, and I want to live with love. Siren. The siren's daughter is a quiet creature. A peaceful child of nature. She sings with the bellows of the wind. Like the rising and falling of her chest, the sighing of her breath, she will continue to sing on those rocks no matter how cold the night, no matter how hot the day. She has something to say. A lion heart with hollow eyes. She's lovesick all the time. Like the singer on the streets of Italy, she belts her heart out to the crowd, almost as if she were calling to them underwater, dragging them into the deep end with her undercurrents of syllable and rhythm. Perhaps she's calling to you, she wants someone to recognize her voice, as if they loved her in a past life. Some other story, someone else's life. Maybe she calls to you too, to see if you would remember. She's been calling all this time. When will the clock strike midnight? And if I were to explain through detailed melody all the recollection of my memory, if I were to ride the wind and fly away, I would lose my formality and be loosed from the bonds of normality that I have loved so dearly once before. I would be reborn, but not as something I could touch, you see. Something crystallized in a superb vision that I could not memorize. With all of its complexity, how could I? For if I were to contain myself with the depiction of its essence, I would lose sight of its glory. I would refrain myself from falling and dancing and leaping my all the more higher. Why would I ever wish to stand upon the ground? Eleanor of Sunset Beach. Streaks of ivory, chilled glass to the touch. That frostbitten feeling of December nights never did all the whimsy mean all so much to me, Eleanor of Sunset Beach. You are perhaps the coolest breeze of the afternoon. Sit me down on the bar stool beside you and tell me all about the time you have left. Like pocket change. How would you like to spend it all? What's the main thing on your mind, Eleanor of Summertime? She says to me, I put on my coat of red velvet with a gaze so serene. It was divine. It was sickening. And I looked to her with misty in my eyes. Live it up, Clementine creature, till you reach that starry, starry sky. Howl. Howl it out. Like you're dancing on your grave. Like not even death could contain the embers of your heart ablaze. Howl it to the sinners, howl it to the saints. Plated in silver, dragon's blood, and rain. The sea came crashing in, out came the waves, glimmering in the light of day. Like some sort of beam of light submerging itself into the open air. I never once did let my body lose my breath. Regardless of its... Sorry. Regardless of the beating of my heart. A snare beating heavy against my chest. 
I continued the symphony. All the bleeding was a mystery. I am a renegade. I've been a dancer since the Stone Age. No matter the way, I have never let my feet catch up to me. Dance on, dance on, dance on, silver woman serene. <laughs>